first thing to do with Ayakuta, everybody agreed, was what they call a technical audit. Ayakuta had been on for so long. Now, we need to do a technical audit, which essentially is to look at the situation of Ayakuta. Uh, the, the present the, situation. Yeah, present mean. situation. That's what an audit does. You know, they come in there, and the audit team was already formed. 60 Russians were going to come in. 100 Nigerians, well-trained. Uh, government has spent a lot of money on these people. 100 Nigerians. 160 of them will take about 90 days. They look at Ayakuta nitty-gritty in details and tell you, oh, this needs to be done. This needs to be This is still okay and all that. So that... Uh, the, the technical audit was supposed to take about 90 days. It was supposed to start in March. Then the pandemic came in. And I must tell you, it's unfortunate. Up till now, we've not been able to do that. The pandemic, essentially. You know, we thought, okay, it went down, and we're going to come in December of last year. Then the third wave or second wave started. And we've been having that. Now we've come to the conclusion that, yes, the pandemic is probably here to stay. You know, we keep adding up different variants. And everybody's learned to adapt. We're, we're learning to live with it. So we're saying, okay, the Russians are ready to come. The president has approved the funding for them. So we are good to go. Uh, I'm hoping that because it's already end of the year, maybe they will come here early January to, to start that process. I pray and hope that we will have started an irreversible process by the time we are leaving. Because once the audit is done, in fact, there's a scramble. I have about six or seven options now. People who want to do a Jakuta. And that is the way to go. It's not concessioning. It's PPP. Whoever must come to run a Jakuta must have a skin in the game. You must have your own funds there so that the success is guaranteed. It's not somebody who's just had a concession. It's a free ride, and which is some of the mistakes we've made in the past. And they put us more in. By the time they leave as a concessionaire, we are in deeper problem than when they came in. We don't want that anymore. So, but now we've got very good proposals from Nigerians who are from... Uh, alliances with some uh, foreign experts, from even foreign experts that are coming directly by themselves without any alliance. We're going to sit down. Uh, we're employing a transaction advisor on that as well. The funding for that has also been approved. The transaction advisor is going to look at all the options. But then, this can only be done in detail. You need to know what you have on your hands. We must have the technical audit report. The technical audit report tells you you need to fix ABC. It's going to cost you X naira, X dollars. That is going to be availed to all these investors that are interested. Look, this is what you want to come into. So you know the picture before you buy into it. Whatever is done in Yakuta, it will not be a burden on government or on the Federation. It's going to be a burden on the business itself. So whoever is coming must give us a business case. From the full interview with Mr. Adibite, do watch Newsnight tomorrow, Monday, 20th December 2021 at 9 p.m. here on Channels Television.